right now place your compass at this point the center of the center of a uh, point zero and three to the center of d and a we are looking for the height of our development okay you see the uh, the zero and the three when you direct them toward to your front view that goes from there it comes which means i must place it and mark somewhere there so this is going to be zero three eh? it's what xx actually which is the center so i'm going to say center let me just mark it as center center to center point which is from here till here you understand so uh, as much as i place my compass from here till here i want to see now which point am i going to refer this point to is it this one or this one so to get that straight you see that this point isn't it is this one that goes to trace it is along this one eh? so now this one I, I place it from here till there so trace it that goes which means this is the m1 that i supposed to direct my what my center to center a uh, line to like this construct it faint so there it goes a1 so now you can come back now to add to place your compass at this point further extend till there where the place it here further extend till it's still on the same thing then now you come back then give it a mark there so after i've gotten that mark after i've gotten the mark so now you can go horizontal out of dimension you understand out of dimension so from there you can now come to what to the smaller uh, to the second center place your compass from here till what to point a to point a which is this one which is this one you know that this is the center of a and d eh? then now you come and place it here and give it a mark there and come this side to give it a mark right there you understand so now you can uh, take your 30 millimeter ruler or t square and have this one i'm a solid from here till there you understand so now without fear or favor i can have this one solid so it like this and so it like this so this is zero and what and a which means from here from here till there is this one from here till there you understand then from here till there three two which means this is a d and to prove that and to prove that what the distance do you see that a a a zero and the D three it came out it came out by itself by what getting the true height since A three and A D they are parallel to each other. So we just got it the what the true height. So to prove that let's uh, place our compass uh, at point A is zero to A. We know that from an, a number to an alphabet we convert, isn't it? So let's prove it. Place it to your compass at A, I mean S0, further ascend it to A. This is it. Now you come and place it here, you give it a mark there. Then after I've given the mark, place it there to your apex. Eh? Not apex, to that point that you just got. Then you see what is true. It's true. So which means this one you can say is zero a and zero a and the three d and the three d you understand so we've just proven it what is correct there you go then after we are done with that one so now we are going to look for a what a distance of zero to one so in zero to one it's a number to a number isn't it so we do not have to what to convert it place it zero to one so which is the upper part which is the upper part this is it now come place it here give it what a mark just a mark 
like this and you know that 0 to 1 is the same as 3 to what to 4 so that is why I can come right here again you see that I I didn't convert it to what to our trend since I'm moving uh, from a number to a number you understand so now I'll, I am going to because I'm looking for point one isn't it along this arc so I, I am looking for point one along this arc using zero a you understand so the point that is missing is this one I do have this one which is this one I do have this one which is that one so the point that we are looking for is that one so now we are going to place our compass to point uh, a to the point that we are looking for which is point a is here to point one that we are looking for this is point one so this one we have to convert it there it goes then now you place it is this one you understand so this is what is point a uh, uh, a uh, one a one a then now construct it there you go <coughs> then from there you place it here do you see that you are still using what m1 uh, we are still directing our line sword to m1 because of uh, uh, a1 is is using what that point of m1 because this is m1 this is M2, you understand? So that is why you place your compass here, further extend it to the true length that you just got. Even if like this, still on the same thing. There you go, this is it. Now without disturbing your compass, you come to your development, you place it at what? At A, and then you bisect that arc of yours, and the distance of point A to of a to one is the same as d to two so that is why i'll come and place it at what at d again and bisect that arc of mine you understand so i've got a point here and then i've got a point there so now join this point so this is going to be point one you understand and join this point then this is going to be point uh, two. You understand? So join it back to point D. Join it back to what? To point two. Like this we go. Okay. So now I can erase this one just a little bit. I don't need them anymore. Even this one. If it's going out, it's, it's fine. But if it's going in, I'll, I am going to mind about it. So now what is... The next step so now place your drawing compass i must get a a point somewhere there and arc somewhere there and arc somewhere there so which means the arc of what of point b eh? so now place your compass there by your top view at point a and we know that the distance of a a to b is the same as distance of what of d to c you understand so when i just place it like this I come and place it there by my development at point A. Strike an arc. I, I will also strike an arc on the other side since they are equally spaced, isn't it? Like this. Then from there, from there, what is happening? We are looking for point B. Eh? So by using A and 1 we, we, to get to point B. So I'm placing my compass at point 1 to the point that I'm looking for which is point D B not D eh? point B and we understand what point, uh, the distance of 1 to B is the same as distance of 2 to C eh? but now check this B and C they are lying at which point now there you go take it up once it touch there you go to your true lens which means now we are going to use what use uh, M2 but the point 1 and point 2, they still goes up, up from there, which means still using what? The very same, same uh, uh, R. <laughs> you understand? Then from there, you take it to M2 now. Don't forget M2, right? Then from there, this is A, this is 1 to B. So you come and place it at what? At 
then by set that acophius at one to the p that we just got to understand and again to two to c eh? so you can place it at c uh, sorry to c and then there you go so you get your point c here this side there you go you've got your point c and the side you've got your what your point b you understand so you take your 30 millimeter ruler we join these two points so there we go then like this we go Hey one. Then from here you go. There you go. Then like this we go. So these ones I don't need them anymore. Erase them. Even this one I don't need them. They are too long. Erase them. So now what is left? So our, I I I am left with what would be to x and one to x. And the, the, the distance of B to X and 1 to X is the same as 2 to X and C to X. You understand? So, to get that, place your, your drawing compass at point uh, 1. There by your top view. Eh? Further extended to the joint where the thing is cut, which is X. Eh? Like this. Like this on it. There you go. Now, without disturbing your compass, you come to play, place it at point 1. Then give it what? A, an arc. And give it an arc this other side as well. There you go. After we've, you've gotten that arc, after you've gotten that arc, <clears throat> have an imaginary line again that's going to be like this. From your X to point 1. So, as hidden line. You understand because we are looking for po for for this point uh, from uh, B to X from B to X still one and the same thing even if you can do it like this is still one and the same thing you understand so now take your drawing compass and put it at point B to X again this is it I do not have to convert to my true length I come and then and get what an arc again like this an arc again like that okay so after I've gotten that mm -hmm, I must have one double lines they are not allowed re-record that this is it and then from there like this you go okay so after you've gotten that so we are place your compass at, at your at this point further extended to the what to point one of which is what you have you understand so now you come place it convert it isn't now convert it then after i've converted it this is going to be one x which is the same as a uh, a uh, two and X both this distance from 1 to X is the same as 2 to X you understand then from there please don't forget this one this one comes here comes here isn't it then this one it will also come here you understand so from there you place it here to M2 this is one X, which is one. The X is supposed to get it here. You understand? So you come and place it at one. Then you bisect that arc. You come and place it at two. You bisect that arc of yours. All right. So now I will have this one as my X there. This one as my X there. And then now without fear or favor here it goes and like this it goes dark eh? then from there so now i'll get an x to x both this is one one two three four i mean this is portion one two three what is they are four they must be one they must be one two three four so we are going to get what an x somewhere there 
an X somewhere there. Remember that this arc we've already gotten it. How did you got it? We place our compass at point one, further extended to this one. And we know that this distance is the same as from here till there. So we strike this arc. We strike this arc this, uh, on this other side. You so shall remember most. Then from there, you are going to place your drawing compass to X to X. At X to X. The same way we started with, you understand. So this is it. Now you come, you place it here, there it is, then come and say this is X, X, and this X, X is going to go to M2, median point, your second median point, there it is, then now you place your compass here, get the true length now, to X, X, there it is, right, now without disturbing your compass, you come to your development, then you bisect this arc, and you come this side again and you bisect this up so this so now there you go and like this you go <coughs> so here, here you go and like this you go so this is going to be your x x you understand so that that's how you get your what? your your development your development so so we started here this was the what was the question then this is the solution so you can have a line that is going to behave like this is still running the same thing and another one that will behave like this is still running the same thing understand and even here, you can have another one that will be like this. Another one that will be like this. There. Another one that will be like this. There. Another one there by your front view that is going to be like this. There. Anyone. So you are done. So uh, let's see what is next left.